Hi, my name is Gary Briggs. I'm a senior at Metairie Park Country Day School, and I'm from New Orleans. He insisted on coming back to graduate from his school, and he, it was hard time for the graduates of 2006. It was extremely hard. It wasn't nothing that they would think it would be. Gary Briggs was entering his senior year of high school when Hurricane Katrina destroyed his family's home, along with much of the city. His family relocated to Houston, but Gary would return to New Orleans on his own, living with a friend's family in order to finish with his senior class. I'm just, I am extremely proud of my son and how he's done and how he will continue to do. After this ordeal, I don't think there's anything that can stop him. It's just hard to let your child go, especially after dealing like with Katrina, after losing everything. The last thing you want to do is like separate a splinter as a family. You want to stay together even more, so took some courage on their part. I was more prepared uh, in August of that year because I'd already experienced what it felt like to be away from home. Katrina was the, the thing that allowed me to kind of like take stock of my life and you know I've always felt like I've wanted to succeed but now I felt even more, I felt a sense of urgency to like make sure that I got it done for my family because they had experienced so much. Gary went on to graduate from Texas Christian University with a degree in political science. He eventually returned to New Orleans and began teaching at Harriet Tubman Charter School in 2010. Good, when you speak, I wanna hear you throw me something mess the voice, let's go. Then the yellow haired one spurred it in you know, I don't have to like stamp I'm from New Orleans on my forehead. It's, it's our language, it's how we speak to each other, it's how we communicate. It serves as a powerful tool for students to see someone who looks like them and, and say, hey, maybe I can do this. One of the things I try to do in my classroom through English is really get kids to like recognize that they have a role to play. And you love your community? Okay, why do you love your community? You see a problem in your community? Okay, as a sixth grader, think of some ways to solve it. You might be stuck at questions and be bored at it, but instead of him uh, just choosing somebody else, he just actually pushes you. So if you plant this idea of that you are a part of a larger system and you play an important role in that system, they may go off, but they're going to want to come back. They're like, oh, I'm a New Orleans citizen. I'm ready to go. I feel empowered. Briggs left Tubman at the end of last school year and planned on leaving the city to restart in Dallas, where he had landed a summer fellowship. But in June, less than a week before he was to leave, he decided to stay. I know I want to help people, and so far I've done that. How's it going to look in the future? Time will only tell. But I know that I want to utilize that urge to help folks in my city. Katrina definitely altered my path. And a lot of things that are happening is because of Katrina, right? And I want to be a part of that. So the storm that took me away is the same thing that's keeping me here. <laughs>